Come on and celebrate. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all, and with your spirit. Introduction. Today, the world commemorates the World Day of the Sick. It was instituted by Pope John Paul II in 1992. This day, 11 February, is specially chosen as we also commemorate the Feast of Our Lady of Lourdes. To the celebration, we lift up the sick and housebound to Jesus, the great healer, and with them, the tech givers and those who have dedicated their lives to the care of the sick. Rite of blessing and sprinkling of holy water. Dear friends, this water that we bless reminds us of our baptism. We shall ask God to bless it and to keep us faithful to the spirit he has given us. Since it is a virtual mass, symbolically, I will put the holy water on my palms and raise them up and make the following prayer. Lord Jesus Christ, I sprinkle this holy water on my hands and raise them up to you, symbolic of the blessing with holy water, and lifting up to you, each of us participating in this Eucharistic celebration and entreating you, the great healer, to restore us to health and wholeness. Amen. Now we shall have the penitential rite in Marathi. Papi janam chetaran karanya Prabhu raya tu avutarla Karuna kar Prabhu Karuna kar Prabhu Karuna kar Prabhu Amavari Pape 
अमुचे पदरी गेवुनि क्षमा माग तो तुज कडुनि करुणा कर प्रभु करुणा कर प्रभु करुणा कर प्रभु अमावरी तारक अमुचा तू या जगति एक मेव देवागर चा करुणा कर प्रभु करुणा कर प्रभु करुणा कर प्रभु अमावरी सर्वसमर्थ प्रभु परमेश्वर दया दावुनी क्षमा करो अन अपनाला शाश्वत जीवन तया कडुनी मिलत रहो तातास्तु let us praise and glorify god by singing gloria Let us pray. Grant us, O merciful God, protection in our weakness, that we who keep the memorial of the Immaculate Mother of God may, with the help of her intercession, rise up from our iniquities through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you. in the unity of the holy spirit god forever and ever amen a reading from the letter of saint james chapter 5 verses 13 to 16 brethren is anyone among you suffering let him pray Is anyone cheerful? Let him sing praise. Is anyone among you sick? Let him call for the elders of the church, and let them pray over him, anointing him with oil, in the name of the Lord. 
and the prayer of faith will save the one who is sick and the lord will raise him up and if he has committed sins he will be forgiven therefore confess your sins to one another and pray for one another that you may be healed the prayer of a righteous person has great power as it is working the word of the lord responsorial psalm our response shall be heal my soul for i have sinned against you happy the man who considers the poor and the weak the lord will save him in the day of evil will god him give him life make him happy in the land and will not give him up to the will of his foes heal my soul for i have sinned against you the lord will help him on his bed of pain he will bring back from sickness to health as for me i said Lord have mercy on me heal my soul for i have sinned against you heal my soul for i have sinned against you if you uphold me i shall be unharmed and set in your presence forever more blessed be the lord the god of israel from age to age amen amen heal my soul for i have sinned against you gospel acclamation Alleluia 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 He took our sicknesses away and carried our diseases for us Alleluia 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 the lord be with you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to matthew jesus exclaimed i bless you father lord of heaven and of earth for hiding these things from the learned and the clever and revealing them to mere children yes father for that is what it pleased you to do everything has been entrusted to me by my father and no one knows the son except the father just as no one knows the father except the son and those to whom the son chooses to reveal him come to me all who labor and are overburdened and i will give you rest shoulder my yoke and learn from me for i am gentle and humble in heart and you will find rest for your souls yes 
my yoke is easy and my burden light the gospel of the lord praise to be lord jesus christ moga cha bawano ni baini no kong ni tie kantara sa ye jesu tai ye tujhe kaaliz jesu dev ko ye tu ka sambhalo so goli to ye jesu tai ye zalmata na ki te gevnu ailo morta na ki te bor tolo कई तान तू या संसार तू आयलाय कई तर तू कवो संका सजना ये जेसु तय ये तुझे खाली सुजे सुख तिम को ये तू का सांभलो सो गोली तो dear friends this morning virtually we have gathered as a community of faith seeking the healing power of jesus all of us know that the sacraments are not equivalent to magic rather the sacraments are vehicles of god's grace and help to conform us into Jesus Christ we can't receive a sacrament and hope for the best every time we receive a sacrament we need to have the right disposition of heart that's why jesus says in today's gospel come to me all who are labor and burdened and i will give you rest you see this evening is not about taking away the aches and pains rather today is about giving you rest we all come here today with various pains it could be cancer depression anxiety diabetes heart diseases neurological diseases loneliness fear anger and many other problems the church doesn't reserve this, this sacrament for people who are physically sick this sacrament is for everyone who is suffering in mind body and spirit the gospel jesus tells us that he is gentle and humble of heart your souls will find rest for his yoke is easy and burden light today we also celebrate the feast of our lady of lourdes mother mary is our mother she understands each one of us she intercedes for us as she did it at the wedding feast of cana she told his disciples do whatever he tells you today she is interceding for you and for me let us ask her whatever 
we are in need of. We see Jesus in the Gospels. He always had compassion, especially those who were sick. Dear friends, those who are suffering and sick, you have important role to play. You can join your suffering to Jesus Christ's suffering on the Calvary. And those who are in good health, you are invited to take care of the sick. Especially during these days, during the pandemic, many seniors, those who are sick cannot go out. In these difficult moments, those who are young, those who are capable, those who can go out, can get things for the sick. Eklo grace the money sasulo, ani taka katin pida asli, to doctor akade yata, ani doctor taka pulun munda tuji ye pida ya pida wokotna, wokotna munun tu korgon bosanaka, tu dusreng kumokkar, ani to money money spati garaeta na. रेलवे स्टेशन लगी एक आवई रोडन बोसन आस्था नहीं पड़ोन तिचकड़े उसन तो ही साथ तो कितना रट्टाई बाये अनि ती आवई तक कमुंटा मुझे पूत बाहर पड़ला तो कहीं आसाम नून मार का गोत्तुना अनि तब मेल मेला नाम नून आउ रोडन आस्था अनि वो ग्रेस्ट मोनिस ताचकड़े त्या बाय कड़े इस आरता तो पुत पुत अच्छी तो फोटो आ सागी तो जकड़े अनि फोटो गेम तो सदुम लगता अनि वो प्रांतो चर कुमेल ले आउट प्रांत अच्छा आवाई पाठी दी था अनि त्या आवाई सो संतोष पड़ोन तत्सो ताची पीड़ा ची दुःख तक उन्हें जता मुगा चनो हम का पीड़ा आसा मुन्न आमी रोडों कोरगों बस चेने ही आमी एक दूसरे अंक जल्ले बरी कुमक कर ची। The Lord is inviting us to accept the challenges that we face. Each and every one has some problem or the other. All of us, we need to accept them. We need to surrender to the Lord. And the Lord gives us strength and courage. I want to end my reflection with that serenity prayer. Lord, grant me the serenity to accept things I can't change. Grant me the courage to change things I can change and grant me the wisdom to know the difference. Amen. Prayer of anointing. Before we begin the prayer of anointing, I ask in each one of you to bring to mind your sickness, illness or any other ailment you suffer from or your need for healing in your relationships, attitudes or from any emotional hurt, etc. God our Father, you created us in your image and likeness. 
you care for each of us and we know this through your son jesus christ who was deeply moved by the flight of the people who were sick and troubled in so many ways he brought hope when things seemed hopeless lord we come to you seeking your blessings he is the suffering and pain of all those gathered before you in faith grant us your comfort and solace may our hearts and minds be open to your presence among us free us lord from all spiritual psychological and physical defects and sickness and may we be whole in spirit mind and body look with compassion upon your people whom we have anointed spiritually you would reign with the father and the holy spirit god forever and ever amen we shall have the prayer of the faithful with deep gratitude for the innumerable gifts we have received let us thank jesus the great healer and place our petitions before him our response lord hear our prayer kindly repeat lord hear our prayer Merciful Father, in these specially challenging times, we ask you to bless and heal our seniors, the homebound, and those suffering from various illnesses. Your response, Lord, hear our prayers. Father, we pray for the poor. the marginalized the vulnerable we also entreat your grace and protection on those who stand up for them and give them a voice a special prayer for our farmers who are fighting for their very existence that justice may prevail and their interests protected bless them all strengthen them and hold them in the palm of your hands your response lord hear our prayer father we specially pray for those struck by covid bless and heal them we also ask you to bless and protect caregivers and frontline workers who daily put their lives on the line often beyond the call of duty bless and sanctify the efforts of our scientific and pharmaceutical community in their continuing quest for vaccines that are effective affordable and justly distributed to those who need them the most your response lord hear our prayer father we pray for pope francis our cardinal oswald and all bishops priests religious and lay leaders who have sacrificed so much this last year to keep us spiritually nourished and fortified we specially lift up our priest at arupe nivas and other retirement homes for the religious bless them their families and their communities with good health 
peace of mind and the joy of service. Your response. Let us pause for a while and pray for our first. God, our loving Father, give us your people the joy of continued health of mind and body. Grant us the experience of your healing power. Protect us from all evil and help us to live a life filled with good health, love and concern for one another. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ and through the intercession of Mary, our Mother of Good Health. Amen. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Abba, Father, as we offer you these gifts, we also place before you those who need your healing in so many ways. Unite their sufferings with the sufferings of your Son, Jesus. We make our prayer to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with yours. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. And to praise, bless and glorify your name on the feast day of the blessed ever virgin mary for by the overshadowing of the holy spirit she conceived your only begotten son and without losing the glory of virginity brought forth into the world the eternal light jesus christ our lord through him the angels praise your majesty dominions adore and pass tremble before you Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim.
you are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and he entered willingly into his passion, Jesus took the bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, Jesus took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave the cup to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, Lord, by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. You are the Savior of the world. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Oswald, our Bishop, and all the auxiliary bishops, clergy, religious, and people of God. Let us pray for all those who have gone before us to the Lord, especially during the pandemic, those who have died, we pray for their souls. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostle, St. Anne and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Christ the Christ the The Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, 
and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil deliver us lord we pray from every evil and graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our savior jesus christ for the kingdom the power and the glory as he was now and forever lord jesus christ who said to your apostles peace i leave you my peace i give you look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance to your will who live and reign forever and ever amen the peace of the lord be with you always and with you let us offer each other a meaningful sign of peace peace be with you peace lamb of god who take away the sins of the world have mercy on us lamb of god who take away the sins of the world have mercy on us lamb of god who take away the sins of the world grant us peace Behold the lamb of God behold him who takes away the sins of the world he is inviting each one of us to come to him all those who are heavy burden how blessed are we who are called to his supper lord i am not worthy that you should enter under my roof but only say the word and my soul shall be healed amen the body and blood of christ keep us safe for eternal life amen Assurance, Jesus is mine. Oh, what a foretaste of glory divine! Heir of salvation, purchase of love, born of His Spirit, washed in His blood.
Blessed is the womb of the Virgin Mary, which bore the Son of Eternal Father. I want to thank the Eucharistic Ministers Group for animating this liturgy, Gorati and others who managed to get the choir, your liturgy prepared, the prayer of the faithful and hymns, everything put together. Also want to thank Father Jude for recording and editing. Want to thank the parish priest, Father Lori, for all that he does and he request all of you, especially the seniors and those who are sick, to pray for St. Anne's Parish. We firmly believe it is because of your prayers that we are able to serve this parish. Request you to continue to pray for us. Let us pray. Abba Father, we who have partaken of this sacred meal Thank you for all the strength we receive to bear our sickness. Sustain us always with your bread from heaven. As we share in the sufferings of your son Jesus, may we one day share in his resurrection. We make our prayer through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Bow your head and seek for God's blessing. May Jesus, who reached out to the sick and the brokenhearted, heal you in mind and body. Amen. Even as you suffer, may you not lose hope, but continue to believe that there is meaning in your suffering because he, Jesus, overcame suffering to save us. Amen. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth and share in the joy, the peace, and the healing love of Christ. Thanks be to God.